Okay, welcome. Thank you for joining our sixth um, event for Women in Wireless, part of the Wireless Technology Forum, a special interest group. We're so excited to have, look at all the fabulous ladies. We're live streaming on Facebook tonight, and look at our beautiful panel of women in hospitality. It's summertime. We thought we would talk about uh, women in hospitality and IT because who do you think controls 90% of all of the hospitality industry? Women or men? men? Okay. Who makes the plans? Men? No. No. Okay. Okay. They, they, they may pay for it. <laughs> they may pay for it, but no, women... Um, control 90% of the ha hospitality industry because we make the plans we coordinate everything and we're fabulous and we and IT is playing a huge role in hospitality and we're gonna hear what that role is so I am Melissa Sorrentino co-chair along with Miss Caroline Dunn um, we are um, excited to have you here and no, do you have the clicker? Yes. Okay, okay. We would like to um, uh, welcome all of our founding members. If you're a founding member of Women in Wireless, please stand up. These are all, these are all of our founding members. Um, Janine Whiteman, Alicia Bridgewater, Alicia Booth, Elizabeth Simpson, Neely Shaw, Kit Johnson, and Kayla Merritt. We run this organization. We started about a, and oh, and our premier uh, coordinator tonight, Diane Esner, and she is in the hospitality industry and brought these fabulous women here. So we have 14, 12 founding members and we are excited to have our inaugural year. Um, we, we got LinkedIn as our premier sponsor this year. Thank you, LinkedIn. We're live streaming on Facebook and we are recording and providing videos next week of the entire event. You can look at us on YouTube at the Wireless Technology Forum. We'd also like to thank our other sponsors, AT&T, ARC, um, Stone Resource Group, Stable Kernel, and OnQ, as well as our industry advocate, GSMA, and is this facility amazing? Atlanta Tech Park in Peachtree Corners. It's a 43,000 square foot post seed incubator run by and owned by Robin Bianfe and Nashley Young. Please come take a tour at a later date if you would like to. It is amazing. They have their own podcast room. They're going to have a green room and it's 43,000 square feet. So come check out the Technology Hub in Atlanta, north of Atlanta, Peachtree Corners. Okay, so really, um, this is a grassroots organization. It is a movement of fabulous women that do great things in business that maybe over, over the past few years we haven't been recognized for. We want to recognize those fabulous women, but to do so, since we're a nonprofit organization, we need sponsors or we need you to join our organization. Please consider asking your company to sponsor Women in Wireless. We meet here the second Thursday of every month. You will also be part of the Wireless Technology Forum, which meets the third Thursday of every month. Did you enjoy the food and drinks tonight? It's wonderful. Okay, so please come back. Um, the second Thursday of every month, we're here at Atlanta Tech Park. And I would like to introduce Caroline Dunn, my co-chair. Caroline. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you all for coming tonight. We're so thrilled to have you to be part of our movement here for Women in Wireless. Uh, so what is our vision? What are we here for? Short answer, women helping women, empowering women, empowering that next generation. Can I get an amen? <laughs> 
Uh, so uh, we, we don't just put on meetings, okay? That's what we're insured for, okay? We gotta, uh, <laughs> but we put on meetings the second Thursday of every month, and we also do service projects too. So we've already, we've just, we just started February, okay? So in, in the short time that we've been together, we've already done two service projects. We just had our second service project two weeks ago. At, it is sponsored by GSMA, our industry advocate partner. In our last service project, and I'll show it to you right now, we had 23 girls build their own computer. Middle school girls had to build their own computer, code it, code an art project that they had to come up with. So they either had to write a story or they had to draw a piece of art and they had to present it in a talent show all in one day. They, they had a working lunch, okay? That's how you do it. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Uh, so anyway, that, so these are um, underprivileged kids. These are uh, 23 middle school kids. We, are, we have three more planned this year uh, in partnership with the GSMA. Uh, so there's, there's like a robot. If you'll see scenes of this little robot in here. It's called Pepper. That's a $50,000 robot that they purchased for themselves, uh, but they let the girls play with during their session as well, during their working lunch. Yeah. So anyway, um, Stephanie Esby, she's a spe she spoke here a few months ago at Wireless Technology Forum. That's how we met her. She's also our keynote speaker uh, for uh, STEM Gems. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it was, a, it was a great session, and I think the... It's a little freezing now. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, all right. So, um, so that brings me to, you want to sponsor, you want to ask your companies to sponsor, and you also want to join as an individual member of the Wireless Technology Forum. This is the greatest networking ever. Okay. So we have 20 meetings a year, 10 meetings for women in wireless, and then 10 meetings as general sessions. These are all content sessions with great networking with people who already work in the industry. You can't find that anywhere else. We are a content first strategy. All right, uh, and then we have committees. Yes, so all of our founding members we just introduced, they are co-chairs of a committee. Uh, so think about which committee you'd like to join and volunteer with us. And that's the best way to really get engaged here at Women in Wireless and the Wireless Technology Forum. Get the inside scoop, right? All righty. All right. Um, so yeah, these are our founding members by committee. So, there are, so we are starting a mentorship program. Neely, would you like to talk about our mentorship program? Yes, you would. That would be the right answer. Yeah, so we are, we are kicking off. <laughs> we are kicking off a mentorship program in August, and you have to be a member in order to participate in our membership program. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, like uh, Caroline said, uh, the mentorship program is going to uh, kick off in August. Um, you do have to be a member to join, um, and there will be forms available on the website where you can pick if you want to be a mentor or a mentee, the area of your um, you know, preference in uh, the industry of your preference, and you can fill out those forms. We'll match everybody up, and then we'll uh, give you guys the information. It'll be uh, not, you know, you'll be you meet once a month. Uh, it'll be kind of relatively informal to start out with, and then the the plan is to make it a little more formal as we grow our membership and you know grow as a group. So that's really about it. Thank you, Neely. All right. Uh, so I've an. Ex really exciting announcement for everybody tonight. Uh, we are having, as I said, our meetings on the second Thursday of the month. Next month we are having Women in Smart Cities and we have the CIO, the new CIO of Atlanta speaking next month. As well as a, as a very, very all-star panel as well. So we just secured Deborah Lamb. She is in charge of Smart Cities for Georgia Tech. Um, we have Mary Peterson, we have Winter Horball, and Laura Wysong. Uh, so, I, I, so Sabina, who is um, running this meeting, is, could not be here with us tonight. Uh, she is traveling, but she put together this incredible panel for us. So, um, so these, these are big panels. We are expecting a, a larger crowd, so please do register early for next month. Thank you.